What's going on guys? Welcome to That Movie Guy. My name is Matt and today I'm going to give you my quick predictions for the weekend box office of January 12th. Now there are a couple things to note before I give you my predictions. One, on Monday we do have Martin Luther King Jr. Day but I will not be including that on here. I know some people want to give their four day weekend predictions but I'm simply just going to give you my three day weekend predictions and that will be about it. And then another thing is there are four wide release films coming out three that are in their first weekend and then another that was extended to a wide release which was the post now a couple of the new releases will not be on my list so if you're wondering why that's why so we're gonna kick it off with number five i'm gonna say number five will be i'm gonna say insidious the last key i do think it's gonna have a pretty big drop compared to its week one release um about 60 percent is what i'm gonna say it's gonna drop because it had a very impressive 29 million. I just don't see a lot of people going out on its second weekend to go see this movie. One, because not a lot of people were liking it. So I do think with that plus, we have a bunch of other movies releasing this weekend. I do think the target audiences for Insidious is going to split into all the different types of movies. So I'm going to say Insidious will come in at number five with about $12 million. I think that would give it about a 60% drop at that point. My number four is going to be Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, it's going to drop one spot down. I don't see it dropping like 50, 60% this week. Um, I really don't because I feel like at a certain point, once you get to like 20 million and whatever, if you've been out in theaters for a while, you're not going to drop 50%. You'll drop more like 40% at most. I think it's probably going to lose about... 40%. I think that's what it's going to drop if I had to call any prediction on that. So I'm going to say Star Wars The Last Jedi will come in at number four with $13 million just edging out Insidious The Last Key for that number four spot. So for number three, I'm going to go with The Post. And the reason why I have The Post at number three is because you have Steven Spielberg directing it and that always brings people out no matter what the movie is. You have Tom Hanks in the movie. And people love Tom Hanks, so they'll go see what Tom Hanks is in. And they have Meryl Streep, and there's people who want to go see Meryl Streep. Plus, the word of mouth is going to help this movie out big time. The award nominations are going to help. And this is a very intriguing story that I think a lot of people are going to want to see. Um, if you look at movies like Lincoln and Bridge of Spies that uh, Spielberg did, those did pretty well and made, I believe, at least $18 million um, opening weekend. So I'm going to say... At number three will be um, The Post. And I'm going to say The Post will make about... I think it's going to make $20 million. So I think that's a good opening weekend for The Post. Um, like I said, Spielberg's going to help out. The awards buzz. Just the buzz in general. So I'm going to go with The Post at number three with $20 million. At number two, I'm going to go with Paddington 2. Now, the reason why I have Paddington 2 at number two is because if you look at what the first one made on its opening weekend, it only made $18 million. So that had a factor, but people liked the movie, which is why I have it ahead of the post, which I said was going to make 20. Um, but plus, you know, Jumanji, man, Jumanji is just killing it. And it's surprising, I think, everybody. And people are just seeing that movie over and over again. Um, this will take away from Jumanji, no doubt. Families are going to go see Paddington 2. I think this is going to be one of those movies where it's going to have very low drops as the weeks go by. Um, I'm not saying it's going to make $300 million in its entire run in the United States, or even 200 but I do think it's going to do really well, and people are going to go back and see it again and again. So I'm going to say Paddington 2 is going to land at number 2 with $23 million. So I'm going to give it $23 million, which will mean my number one will be Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. And look, this movie is destroying at the box office. It's not doing like the Avengers numbers or, you know, the Force Awakens numbers. It's not doing that at all. No, it's definitely not doing that. But this is one of those movies where it had a really good opening weekend, but people just keep going back again and again and again. So I do think this will land at number one. And I'm going to say this is just going to beat out Paddington 2. I'm going to say... Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, will make $25 million on its third weekend, right? Uh, yeah, I believe this is the third weekend. So I will say it will be number one with about $25 million. So just to run it down real quick, 
My top five, number one will be Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Number two will be Paddington 2. Number three will be The Post. Number four will be The Last Jedi. And number five will be Insidious, The Last Key. So there are my predictions. Am I going to be two for five again? Am I going to be zero for five? Am I going to be five for five? Um, we'll find out on Sunday. I should have a video out either Sunday or I may just do it Monday. Um, maybe. I probably have to do it Sunday though just to get those numbers about as perfect as I can. So uh, comment below. Let me know what your predictions are. What's your top five? Let me know that down below. If you're new, click that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you think it's worth liking. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.